because when one side gets the edge, the other side kind of comes back the next day, and which is what happened today. The defensively got after him, played well. And, and uh, you know, but once again, it's a, it's a team effort, and we got to continue to get better in all phases. Coach talked a little bit about the lines and Spencer Harrison today, the, the game, you know, the way they played today. Well, that's you know kind of what you expect. Uh, the guys going to come up. They're going to practice. They're going to practice the way they're going to play. Both good good receivers, and we'll get better, you know, with every uh, every rep they get. Did you uh, move uh, Dickinson into the, uh, the middle line there? So? Moving him a little bit in there. Working him a little bit in there. Yep. What's the reason behind that? There's not a whole lot of difference between the mic and the whip. I mean, it's just whether he's on the strong side or the weak side. Anything else? You're, anybody else has kind of been shifted around a little bit? Any other position things you've been thinking about or no? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Did most of it pre-camp, didn't you? I mean, some yeah. of the things like moving Jack over and that kind of thing. Okay. Coach, what do you expect from Spence this year? He played next to Corey last year, and probably a lot of people were concentrating on Corey, and he came out a pretty good year. What do you expect without Corey there this year? Well, I mean, we would expect him to do the same thing that Corey did last year. You know, a year ago at this time, there weren't a lot of people all excited about Corey either. And, you know, he came on, had a great year for us. And, you know, the work ethic and so forth. And, you know, the team's had a, yeah, a big day today. Uh, you know, you just want him to improve. I mean, he's a, these guys, particularly in the, down there in the, the Briar Patch, they had, a, they had to improve us you know, each year. What's, what's his strength as a player? Well, his, his leverage, his strength, you know, and, and he's expo very explosive. It seems like he's got a desire, doesn't he? Well, he hopes so. <laughs> no. First any comment on Cooper and look he's getting a lot of work in the middle with uh, Coop, Ian. Cooper's getting doing well and you know with Ian Ian's got that strain uh, not a sprain AC joint. Probably could have gone yesterday but we decided to hold him. But uh, but both Cooper and Dickerson uh, are both doing that. Been able to follow all the shenanigans or in the SEC and Texas A&M. You heard anything about it or you knowing much about it or not? Well, I heard Texas A&M was going to the SEC. Then I heard they're not going to the SEC. So <laughs> I, no, I haven't followed. Them. Okay. Do you think I got my own problems? Ah. <laughs> you think having a mega conference and more than 12 teams would be good, or how would that reflect on college football? Uh, you know, really, once again, those things like that. I, I'm not. Uh, it doesn't really matter what, what any of us think. You guys probably have more control over that than, than what coaches think. Coach, did, did Saturday when you had to come out, did that cost you that practice, or could you add another one back in? Well, or they, they, the, uh, the Big Ten told us that it cost us that practice. So, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's, you know we, all we're trying to do is be safe and keep guys, keep guys safe. And, uh, and I guess. Uh, Does that get you? What did that mean in a practical term? Did you have to miss one today, or is that? Well, that's that's kind why you of, went that's kind to. That's the reason we only went one today. Okay, so it doesn't cost you another day down the road. It just no, cost no, no, you the one, no, no. just the one session. One, one, yeah, twenty-nine okay. practice opportunities. Is there an amount of minutes or something? Or how does that work? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, when I, I told Adrian to ask, I, I kind of figured that, uh, that, that would be the answer. But, but, you know, I mean, we could have stayed out there, but you know, aren't you trying to, you know, you're trying to protect your kids? And, and then after the lightning went away, then you know, now you worry about stiffness and pulled muscles and wet grass and things like that. So it wasn't, I don't think it was safe. Uh, uh, for them to be out there, and, and uh, you, know, but, you know, once again, you, 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 you know, we chose on the side of you know, you, safety. Did, do you feel like that, you know, puts you a little bit behind me going on this weekend? No, it doesn't put you behind, yeah. but, you know, it, it, once again, it's, those are things that, that sometimes you wish that people would, you know, have a little common sense and you know, try to Maybe it should be a time rule or something like that, right? I mean, well, if you're only out there time, for 20 yeah, minutes. You know, it's, it's, you know, 15 plays. So, but you got in 15. Yeah, 15, so. And we're going to run what, what, uh, about? Well, yesterday we ran about uh, well over 100, so. Uh, uh, any uh, <coughs> thoughts on the uh, punting competition at this point? Uh, Bert, we had a, a good day today. Uh, Justin, Justin's getting, uh, uh, both of them have got to become more consistent. But Justin's doing a good job. I think Justin right now is probably a little bit ahead. But, uh, you know, he knows he's going to have to. Like I just told him out there, I'm standing behind him, and every, you know this consistency thing. I told him, I, I reminded him that I was going to be at the game, so <laughs> it didn't matter. He needed, he needed to go ahead and run away. All right. Thanks, sir. All right, guys.